Surprise medical bills have become so common in the U.S. they affect more than half of the population. Today in our ongoing series, Money Versus Medicine, we're covering one man whose emergency surgery left him with a massive financial fallout. A Long Island, New York man was experiencing back pain so bad he couldn't walk. When his doctor told him he needed to have surgery immediately or risk being paralyzed, he chose to have the surgery. The good news? The surgery was a success. The not so favorable news? When the bill came, the man was left in shock. That total bill came out to over $650,000. This leaves the very large question, are the soaring medical costs worth the care? or are patients being taken advantage of? We have Frank join us today via Skype. Frank, uh, let me just cut to the chase. How did this end up being a bill for over $650,000? That, that part of it, I, I couldn't tell you that I ever knew what was gonna happen. And when you went in to get this surgery, you were pretty much wheelchair bound, is that accurate? You were in that much pain and, and the doctor said they were worried about you becoming paralyzed. So you pretty much just said, okay, healthcare system, I'm in dire straits here. I'm assuming because in your mind, this was an emergency surgery. You weren't sitting around thinking about, well, how much is this gonna cost me? Did anyone even discuss cost with you before you were wheeled into surgery? No, there's never any discussion. It uh, was mostly about severity of my situation. The bone spur and herniation was severe. Pushed the nerve out so bad, they had to put a special machine on it just to see if it was coming back. But your insurance company basically said they weren't going to cover it regardless, correct? They started out saying that they felt the, the surgery was not necessary, huh. medically necessary. So we're gonna break this down, Frank. We're joining our audience, a bioorthopedic spine surgeon, Dr. Huma Melamed. And Dr. Melamed, I wanna talk about the medicine side first, okay? And then we can talk about the money. So here you have a patient who, I know you've reviewed Frank's case, who is in so much debilitating pain that he has to be wheelchaired into the hospital, is told by a physician, you need to have this emergency surgery now or you could become paralyzed. So as you're hearing this, what are your thoughts on um, that? I think the decision for medical uh, necessities should be made between the, the doctor and the patient. The insurance company is not allowed to interfere in this process. And you know, if this uh, Frank is in excruciating pain, I saw that MRI, that looks pretty bad. You know, I would probably tell the patient you need to go, I mean, that is like, pretty much compromising, severe narrowing of the entire spinal canal. The whole spinal canal is filled with like, look at this herniation. I mean, that is an emergency surgery. And I think the doctor was right. You gotta go to the ER right away. You got to take care of it right away. And for the insurance to say it wasn't medically necessary, it is so like ridiculously outrageous. So this is very different than the, the cases where we've presented and said, okay, this was a not non-medically necessary procedure and the, the doctor forcing you into surgery was looking to profit. Yeah. This was purely, in your mind, as an orthopedic surgeon, the right call. Medically. Oh, absolutely was the right call. And, you know, I am, have patients myself and who are not fortunate like Frank, not getting this, this story out there, who are also getting, going there and insurance saying, oh, you just needed physical therapy. You didn't need to have surgery. So I mean, it is like your outrageous. Opinion, how, how common is this, Dr. Melamed, when oh. you've had patients, you feel surgery is necessary, and then after the fact, the insurance company denies it? It is becoming extremely more and more common, and pa patients, unfortunately, are painfully finding that out, that even sometimes the surgery, they say it's authorized, then they come back and say, oh, it wasn't necessary. And Dr. Melamed, unfortunately, this decision is being made by either a non-doctor or a doctor who's not specialized in spine surgery. That's correct. A lot of times when I talk on the phone, I'm talking to a, a nurse, a family practice, or a general surgeon who have no clue. I mean, it is, they're, they're just reading some script mm -hmm. and they're not even listening to the patient's problem. And they're, they literally make up, they're making up guidelines. One guy told me, pain is not an indication for surgery. <laughs> I said, so you're telling me if the patient is in pain, he cannot have surgery? He's like, no. I said, where do you get these guidelines from? They literally make making stuff up to avoid paying people for surgery.